Assalamu alaikum dear students. In your previous video, you have learned about the definition of the partial fraction and also you have studied the rule 1 and 2. As you know, the, your algebraic fractions, you have a four type of uh, algebraic fractions in this chapter. The rule one was when you have a non-repeated linear factor in a denominator and rule two was when you have a repeated linear factor in a denominator. So today our topic is the third rule. If a quadratic factor ax square plus bx plus c with a is not equal to zero occurs once as a factor of the denominator x, the partial fraction is of the form ax plus b over ax square plus bx plus c where a and b are constant to be found. So we have a question resolve 11x plus 3 over x minus 3 x square plus 9 into partial fraction. So one is the linear factor and one is the quadratic factor. So this quadratic factor once occur in a denominator. So before starting a question, you should know about the definition of the proper and improper which you have already learned in the previous video. So proper fraction when your degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator and improper fraction when your degree of the numerator is equal or greater than, greater than the denominator. So before starting your question, first you have to check whether your question is in the form of a proper fraction or an improper fraction. So now look x square multiplied by x this is x cube and here is x. So this your degree of your top is smaller than the degree of the bottom so it is a proper fraction. Otherwise if it is a improper then you first have to divide then start in the into partial fraction. So now let's start our question. So this is now 11x plus 3 over x minus 3 and x square plus 9. So let's partial means to now it's parts x minus 3 and now this is x square plus 9. So this is linear. So for the linear we write only a because you know it has x power 0. So degree of your top should be smaller than the degree of the bottom. So we write only a. But now this is x square, so we cannot take only a. So I am taking this b x plus c. So now the, our type is write into a x plus b over this quadratic. So why I am writing b x plus c? Because now our degree of our top is smaller than the degree of the bottom, so it is also a proper fraction so now I will write b x plus c so b is a coefficient and c is a constant here so the first step is multiply both side by the LCM so the LCM is x minus 3 and x square plus 9 so I am multiplying both side by the LCM so I will get 11 x plus 3 is equal to a into x minus 3 and x minus 3 cancel so this is x square plus 9 plus bx plus c x square plus 9 and x square plus 9 cancel and we have x minus 3 so now number one so look so using the zero method since it is an identity equation so using the zero method i will put x minus 3 is equal to 0 so put x minus 3 is equal to 0 so this implies that x is equal to 3 so let me put x is equal to 3 here this is 3 into 11 plus 3 now look here this is 3 square plus 9 plus when you put 3 here 3 minus 3 is 0 0 multiplied by any term will give you 0 now 3 square is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 a 11 3 is a 33 33 plus 3 is 36 so this implies that dividing both sides by 18 I will get a is equal to 36 over 18 and this implies that a is equal to 2. 
So now we have this value a is equal to 2. After finding the value of a, now you see that uh, we can after finding the value of a now you see we cannot easily find b and c so for that purpose we use the equating coefficient method so for equating the coefficient first we will multiply bx plus c with x minus 3 and a into this so from 1 now from 1 11x plus 3 is equal to now multiply a with x square now you will get a x square plus 9a plus now multiply b x plus c with x minus 3 now i am multiplying b x multiply by x now i will multiply in this way so b x square b x multiply by minus 3 minus 3 b x plus c multiply by x cx and c multiply by minus 3 minus 3c now 11x plus 3 now combining the like terms ax square plus bx square now i have minus 3bx minus 3bx plus cx and its constant is 9a minus 3 C. So, after this, let's take the common. Now, I am taking x square common. A plus B, this is x square plus taking x common minus 3B plus C with x and now 9A minus 3C. Now, let's imagine here you have 0x square and 11x plus 3. So now comparing the coefficients of x square. Now comparing the coefficient coefficient of x square x and constant. So what we will get? a plus b compare it with this one. Its coefficient is 0. Its coefficient is a plus b. So we have a plus b is equal to 0. Then comparing the coefficient of minus x minus 3b plus c is equal to 11. So now we have minus 3b plus c is equal to 11. Now I am comparing 9a minus 3c is equal to 3. We have a value of a. Now putting the value of a here. The value of a, I am putting the value of a here. So b is equal to 2. Shift 2 to that side. b is equal to minus 2. Now we have b is equal to minus 2. Now I will put the value of b here to get the value of c. Now minus 3, what is the value of b? Is equal to minus 2 plus c is equal to 11. So 6 plus c is equal to 11. So c is equal to 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. So I have the value of c. So we have already find now a, b and c. So we do not need to use this constant here. So now the partial fraction putting the value of a, b, c in this question are uh, a over this and let us name it as number 1. So now putting the values in 1. This is 1. So let's change name. So now putting the values in 1. So our fraction 11x plus 3 over x minus 3 and x square plus 9 is equal to 
a over x minus 3. What is the value of a? 2 over x minus 3 plus b. What is b? Minus 2x and what is c? c is 5. I am putting the value here and here. Minus 2x plus 5 over x square plus 9. So now your question resolve into partial fraction. So with the help of this question you will be able to solve the exercise. So be careful. First you have to check whether your question is in a proper form or in a improper form. Thank you.